Hello everyone and welcome back to Visme's monthly feature recap. September was another huge month for Visme's still growing platform and in this month's video, we'll cover exciting updates to our AI designer app, improvements to charts and graphs, whiteboards and accessibility features. So without further ado, let's get into it. Over the past few months, we've been working steadily to improve the quality of designs generated with Visme's AI designer. First, we switched the ChatGPT model for the content generation from ChatGPT 3.5 to GPT 4.0 Mini, which provides faster and higher quality copy generation. We've also done extensive training with our chatbot to improve how it communicates with you. It will now notify you of any actions it can't perform, guiding you through what it can and cannot do. The chatbot has also gotten better at identifying template subcategories and suggesting the most relevant templates for your project. Additionally, we've increased the character limit for input prompts from 800 to 2500 characters, allowing you to provide more details and specific copy for your designs. The new chatbot now reuses your provided copy more effectively. While it may summarize or trim parts to fit the selected template, it retains most of the original content. Lastly, we've improved page selection with presentation templates to better accommodate generated text. Previously, the AI designer would place content into template slides in their default order. Now, it duplicates or excludes slides as needed to fit the generated content more accurately. Altogether, these updates enhance the user experience of AI Designer and improve the quality of generated content. Give these updated versions a try and let us know your feedback. To make Visme projects more accessible to users with auditory impairments, we've implemented closed captions. Closed captions display text on the screen to represent spoken words, sounds, and other audio cues, helping those with hearing impairments follow along with the content. Currently, this feature is only available on the enterprise level plan as we test it out, but we plan to roll it out to all of our users as part of our ongoing accessibility efforts. So how do you enable closed captions in your designs? Well, it's easy. Go to the hamburger menu within the Visme editor and switch on closed captions. If your project includes audio with associated text, you'll see captions appear on the canvas and of course, they'll also be visible in the presentation and share views. Plus, we offer caption editing capabilities just in case you spot any mistakes you want to tweak. To edit your captions, open the animation timeline and double click on the slide containing the audio. This will open the advanced view of that slide. Find the audio file on the timeline, right click on it and select edit captions to adjust the text. By the way, if you've got more than one audio file with text on the same slide, say if you're using audio hotspots and need to disable captions for certain files, you can do this through the same right click contextual menu in the timeline by selecting disable file captions. And that's how easy it is to make your projects more inclusive and accessible with closed captions. Now, following feedback from our community members who voted on the types of charts and graphs they'd like to see in Visme, we've implemented a dual axis for bar, area, line, dot, and combo charts. Adding a second Y axis is especially useful when you need to display two different data sets with different units or scales of measurement on the same plot. To add a second Y axis to your charts, go to the chart settings, click on axis, select add right Y axis. From there, by clicking on the settings cog icon, you can customize various aspects of your access, including text, color, font, size, axis color, thickness, max label width, max and min value, and a whole lot more. This update gives you even more flexibility to create and edit charts in Visme, allowing you to display complex data in a clear and visually compelling way. Wrapping up this month's feature update, we have a much requested improvement. The actions menu is now available in whiteboards. This feature allows you to link design elements in the whiteboard to external links or pop-up content such as other design objects, videos, and audio files. When you select an object on the whiteboard, the actions icon will appear at the top of the canvas. Clicking on it will open the familiar menu you've seen in other content types where you can choose which object or link to display when a user clicks or hovers over an element in your whiteboard. Actions are a great way to make your whiteboards interactive and more engaging for your audience. They also help declutter your content by using pop-ups. So next time you're creating a whiteboard, be sure to take advantage of that actions menu. So there you have it, another month of feature improvements inside of Visme. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any feature updates. Plus, if you're looking for interesting content, we're also creating a ton of new videos on design and marketing best practices, so make sure to check those out as well. Until next time, I'm Yvonne, helping you design better for your business.